See this device? It's called a cryometer, and it has decided, as you can see by the red light there, that Natasha was really sleepy before the break. So we've let her relax behind me, as you can see. You might have thought a device that could decipher the meaning behind a baby's cry was just science fiction fantasy, but obviously it isn't. Here, check it out. Pedro Monagas is a father short on sleep, but not on ideas. As if the late night cries of his son Alex weren't enough, Pedro set out in search of more babies that cried. And cried. What might be torture for some parents was an exercise for Pedro, an engineer on a mission to record more than 800 baby cries. I noticed that my son cried differently whenever he needed something different. So I wanted to see if all babies cried in the same way and if the determinations I made listening could also be made with circuitry. Pedro set up shop in his garage to build the circuitry to filter out and amplify the baby cries he recorded. To search for patterns, Pedro then reproduced a sound wave of each cry. This he could break down and analyze for telltale signs like intensity, energy and repetition. Months of late night analysis soon demonstrated that babies' cries are universal. The races and sexes didn't matter. The only determining factor was how much a baby weighed. Size matters because bigger babies cry louder, though the message stays the same. Pedro had deciphered the crying language. The next challenge would be doing the same for parents in real time. Immaculada and her husband need more than just a helping hand. They've got twins. You get really stressed and you don't know what to do. There was no way, nowhere to turn. The Polytechnic University of Catalonia is where Pedro turned. He used the soundboard and an echoless chamber here to convert his analog sound waves to digital. The precision enabled Pedro to distinguish cries of sleep from boredom and hunger from stress. Five universal cries in all. This is the cry of discomfort. It's the only cry where there's a marked imbalance of respiration, the lack of any signal between the moaning. Pedro says each cry corresponds to an infant's basic needs. He's used science to prove something experienced parents have suspected all along. To put that science within reach of parents, Pedro reduced his original circuitry to a handheld apparatus. A microphone inside is tuned to vocal frequencies ranging from 100 to 6,000 hertz. A chip no bigger than his fingernail converts baby cries to digital signals which are compared to the universal patterns stored in memory. It takes a bit of a cry each 10 milliseconds and compares the bits with the universal pattern during 20 seconds of analysis to validate the conclusion and offer the most accurate diagnosis possible. They get stressed and you do too. It's a vicious circle that never ends. So what this does is focus you on the heart of the question and normally you're right. It has cleared up a lot of our doubts. With a dozen infants in her charge at a local daycare center, Carmen's doubts could be endless. What's the matter? What's the problem with Francine? Why are you crying? Why Cry is the name of Pedro's invention. Complete with a body language table, this handheld bit of technology is like the instruction book that never comes with newborns. Let's see, says you're hungry. We have to give you your bottle or take if you're thirsty, okay? Why Cry eliminated sleep, boredom, stress and general discomfort. Little Franzine couldn't be happier.
Our response to crying babies is much quicker, more positive. The babies also come out winners. Recent studies find that children with parents who respond to their needs develop 25% more emotional intelligence. They also have higher IQs. We can tend to a baby better when we understand what it's asking for. That's good for the physical and psychological well-being of a baby. Pedro's sleepless nights are giving parents and their babies lots to smile about.